If you have been considering moving to or within the state of Massachusetts and wondering about which suburb you want to settle down in, then definitely stick around because that's what I'm about to talk about on this video. Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Heather. I'm a realtor here in the state of Massachusetts with Next Home Signature Realty. And today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about living in the town of Sharon, Massachusetts. So Sharon is located in Norfolk County and it has a population of a little over 18,000 people. And the average price that you can expect to spend on a home in Sharon is between 600,000 and 700,000. Um, that's the median price. I would say it's probably on the higher end of the sixes um, and then of course, you know, there's homes that are for sale for less and homes for sale for more, but that is the median price point that you're gonna find in Sharon. And the uh, schools in Sharon are very, very highly rated. There are three elementary schools, one middle school and one high school. Um, and I also actually, fun fact, I uh, just read that the uh, high school in Sharon is actually uh, being rebuilt in completion time for that. I read was 2022, which here we are, um, to 2023. So I have not heard anything if it's done yet or if it's gonna be more done towards next year, but something to keep in mind, they will be having a brand new high school, which is exciting for them. Um, the commute, if you are planning to commute into the city of Boston, you are looking at probably like a 40 minute drive, but of course that's always dependent on traffic. Um, and Sharon also does have a train station right there in town and uh, you can get to both Boston and Providence on that train station. So if you work in Providence or if you work in Boston, you have access to both, which is, which is awesome. Um, and to take the train into Boston, it's like about a 45 minute train ride. And so now that you have a couple of quick facts about the town of Sharon, you're probably wondering exactly where it is, what towns surround it. Um, so it is, the bordering towns for Sharon are uh, Canton, Norwood, Walpole, Foxborough, Stoughton, Easton, and Mansfield. And now that you know where it is, you're probably wondering what there is to do in Sharon. What does Sharon have to offer? What are the attractions in Sharon? So um, I actually, I, I, I love Sharon. I live, I live in Foxborough, so I'm one of the bordering towns and I, I frequently in Sharon a lot just because they have some really great things to do there. So. I will start with one of my favorites, uh, so Wardsbury Farm. Um, they offer a whole bunch of stuff. Um, you can do strawberry picking, you can do um, tulip picking, and uh, just a bunch of really awesome blueberry picking. I mean, they have just a bunch of like pick your own fruit and stuff. It's just so much fun, especially to bring my kids to. Um, and they also do offer like hay rides to and from, you know, the station where you go to pick the things and then to bring you back. Um, and they also have a really beautiful store where they have a bunch of amazing, I mean, they have pretty much everything. They have a lot of really great pre-made foods and then they have, uh, they actually have a deli there too. And then also an ice cream stand um, and just tons of fresh produce. And it's just amazing. It's, it's one of my favorite spots in Sharon. Um, another amazing spot in Sharon that uh, is the uh, Lake, I'm gonna totally mispronounce this probably, Lake Massapog. Um, so I've been there before. It is only for Sharon residents. If they are, you can, there's like another section of the lake that they offer to other, other local residents, but only for a short window of time and it's definitely not during like peak season. Um, so worth checking that out before you head over there. But if you happen to be a Sharon resident or decide to purchase in Sharon, that is one of the uh, benefits that you get is that you are allowed access to that lake. It's a beautiful lake and it's just, there's a lot of really, you know, great things that they offer. I believe that they offer kayaking and different like lessons and things like that. So it's a, it's, it's an advantage to, to have that right there. Um, some of the other things are uh, Moose Hill Farm. So that has like a bunch of trails and uh, they also offer events throughout the year, which is really cool and um, fun spot to check out. Um, and then uh, Sharon Police and Fire Museum, which I've not been to and now like do in doing my research, I'm now definitely gonna go there because that sounds really cool. Um, I think, especially my son, he's obsessed with police and firemen. So I think that that would be something fun to take to take the kids to. I heard it's very, very family friendly and um, seems like fun. Um, wrapping this up with my personal favorite is uh, Crescent Ridge. So Crescent Ridge, 
I guess could kind of go into like the food category, but it also has, they have a, like a pasture of cows and sheep and goats, I think, and just a bunch of farm animals that you can go and you can, you can watch. Um, but they also have a dairy bar and they also have a um, indoor mart where you can like buy milk and stuff. And I, they, I believe they also deliver like for milk and things like that. Um, anyways, it's the best ice cream you will ever have in my opinion. <laughs> um, okay, moving on. So th that's kind of like an attraction restaurant. So we're just gonna go right into restaurants now. So um, Mick Morgan's is one of my favorites in Sharon. It's on. It's definitely like on the Sharon Walpole line, but um, so, so, so good. Um, they have the outdoor igloos, if that's something that you know anyone's interested in. And then they also have outdoor dining and I believe they have an outdoor bar area as well over the summer months, um, but their food's just really good. Uh, buffalo chicken, amazing. Nachos, amazing. Just all around. I don't think you could ever like have a bad meal there. It's always really, really good. Um, griddle and grill. Griddle and grill. Griddle and grill. I'm <laughs> saying that right. Um, so they are a breakfast spot. Um, I've only had the muffins there, which I can say are very, very good. Um, but I've heard the French toast is good. And I've heard that, again, like you just really can't go wrong. Great breakfast restaurant. Um, Szechuan Gourmet, if you like Chinese food, I've heard is really, really awesome. And then also Wardsbury Farm too, like I said, has that, uh, they, they offer like sandwiches and salads and then ice cream as well. So those would be my top picks for restaurants in Sharon. <laughs> and if you happen to live in Sharon and you have another restaurant recommendation, I would love if you would comment below and let us know because I'm always looking for new spots and um, it's just, it would be nice to learn more about Sharon and learn more about the places to go and eat because that's my favorite category. <laughs> um, that's it for me today. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and link a video. I think I'll do, I think I'm gonna go with Norwood because that's my hometown. I grew up in Norwood. So I think I'm gonna link Norwood below and um, it's one of the bordering towns and if you have any interest in other towns, definitely check out my channel because that's what I talk about here and sometimes I, I not sometimes I often will do um, some neighborhood tours and I've got a couple coming up as well so um, and if you have not subscribed please go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that you are notified when I post my next video and that is it so everyone have a great day thanks for watching